Are you growing alone? Let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. The weather was windy and humid when I helped a friend plant spring flowers in her flower bed. Plant them close together, she said. These grow better when they're placed that way. I proceeded to position the small plants with new white blooms and clusters in their new home. Then I began to wonder, how will they survive the wind, rain, and summer sun? Will they really grow better planted close together? As I looked over my friend's flower garden months later, the tightly knit group of plants has numerous blooms and is growing. The closeness has worked. Living things need each other to survive and grow. As Christians, we grow too when we are in community, sharing life with one another. The writer of Hebrews knew the strength of fellowship and that in community believers find encouragement and motivation for love and good deeds. When the winds and storms of life hinder our growth and threaten to beat us down, in community we can face the storms strengthened by our devotion to Christ and to each other. O oh God, help us to encourage and learn in community with one another. Amen.